How did it start? How did it start? It started <laughs> when I was a student uh, at music school with a teacher that I was studied for 10 years. I was about 14, 14 and a half maybe. So she asked me to help her young student with some piece. And she left us in the, in the classroom. And when she came back, I said, you know what? I just understood that I want to do it all my life. She said, okay, it's good. And for my 15th birthday, she gave me a present, a student to work with. So that's how it started and never stopped. I remember the first time I met Irena. It happened many years ago during the piano pedagogy exam at the music college affiliated with uh, St. Petersburg Conservatory, where I served as a teacher, piano pedagogy teacher. She entered the room very young, very small, very energetic, with twinkling eyes. And she presented her ideas in such a unique and strong and creative way that I told my colleagues, pay attention to this girl. She's a genius teacher. From the very beginning of her career, Irena has worked on the realization of her goal, the development of creative abilities in her students. This encompasses more than just playing the piano. Creativity, she believes, is more important than anything else in art and in life. I remember quite clearly the first time Irena Orloff came to the Levine School of Music. She had called and said that she was interested in teaching at the school. When she arrived, the door opened and in walked this small, dynamic bundle of energy full of emanating fire and determination. I think she played something for me. I believe I asked people who wanted to teach to play something. I don't remember the playing, but I remember so vividly what she said to me. So many teachers who came or wanted to come to the school would announce, but I only want to teach the talented students, the gifted students. Arena said to me, I will teach anybody. I knew then that this was someone who was quite special. I think that uh, by working with untalented people, uh, by whatever means Irena was able to invent, she not on, only uh, unlocked their musical talents, but uh, their talents as human personalities. And uh, I think uh, if there were tests to show that, they would show that they progressed not only in music, but also in other areas of, of their activities or studies. And the secret, I think, was that Irena has a very unique ability to see through the external surface of a person, deep inside its personality structure, and to understand what this personality structure is, has as its potentials. So she approaches everyone in his or her own terms, on his or her own turf, so to say. And uh, the ability to find this sprout, which can be nurtured and uh, grow, uh, she, she, she finds a key to the entire personality. And uh, that, I think, is the great secret of her success. Arena had announced she would teach anybody, and indeed she did teach anybody, and taught them 
in, in the most extraordinary sort of way. It wasn't that she turned every student who walked into her studio into a genius, into a brilliant pianist, into a great virtuoso. Her greatest gift was the capacity to bring forth from anyone that she taught the, what they had to say, what they wished to express from within themselves that was theirs alone. Each student sounded completely like himself or herself and each student seemed to reach deep within. There was something about Arena's capacity to open people up to themselves, to an expressiveness that, that often they didn't even realize they possessed. So that meant that hearing her students was always a most in, engaging and fascinating experience because not only was it musically satisfying, but in terms of the humanity the individuality of each student came forth through the music. Quite extraordinary. That was, I think, the unique gift that Arena had and still has as a teacher to allow each student to find what is particularly theirs that they would like to say through the music. It was magical, absolutely magical.